you haven't tried kimchi before, I would highly recommend it. And you can get it from most Asian grocers. Kimchi is a fermented Korean cabbage. Now, it does have a little bit of an odour to it, but I tell you what, it's a great condiment to have in the fridge. It lasts forever, it's so good for you, and it's a great addition to many types of dishes. Just like this dish that I'm going to do. This is a little bit of leftover brown rice from my dinner last night, and I'm going to use it to make a delicious fried rice. Kimchi gives a really wonderful garlicky chilli flavour, and you can see how much chilli's in it. Now, the first time you try kimchi, it does have a very distinct flavour, but after a few times, I promise you, you'll be addicted to it, just like I am. Now, let's get mise en place done, meaning getting everything prepared just like any other stir fry, because stir fry is all about fast cooking. This is a beautiful piece of ginger. You can see how soft and young it is, so I'm going to add quite a lot of ginger to this. So, piling them up together and then finely slicing them. Now, if you've got an older ginger, meaning that the skin's really tough on the outside, by all means, you can mince it. But because this is quite young, it's not as peppery and spicy. It's actually got quite a floral flavour. Now for some spring onions, half a bunch of spring onions, and I'm going to use it in two different ways. First, the white and the light green part. Just cut them into rounds. They don't have to be too fine because they will wilt down in the hot pan. And then the dark green part is fantastic, but we need to finely chop it, and I'll do that later. That'll be a garnish. Now for the kimchi, I'm going to place it onto my chopping board, and you can see there's that lovely juice in there that we'll use too. Kimchi is so healthy for you. It's fermented, so it's great for gut health. And it's a great thing to also add to salad. So if you've got a little salad, to make it a little bit more interesting, you can add it. I want this to be quite fine because I want it to coat all of the rice. So running through until it's almost minced. And now for the sauce, only two ingredients for my sauce, but two contrasting flavours. So we've got salty, so the soy sauce, and some honey, perfect for a simple stir fry. I like to use the light soy sauce. It still is salty, but it's not as strong as other varieties. So we can add a little bit more to our sauce. And now just with a fork, we'll whisk that up and combine it. So sauce is done. The base of our fried rice is done with the kimchi and the ginger. And now for a little bit of chicken just to bulk it out. And I'm using chicken breast for a stir fry like this because it cooks really quickly. One chicken breast is plenty for two people. So I'm going to cut it through the centre. You can see it's so lean so it does cook very quickly. And then I'm just going to finely slice it. If you wanted to keep this 100% vegetarian, very easy. Just supplement the chicken with some mushrooms. You can use a variety of Asian mushrooms. That would be fantastic for this too. All right, chicken's done. Let's put the wok on the heat. You want this to be really, really hot. A little bit of vegetable oil in the base of the pan. Swirl that around. And now I'll add our ginger, then our spring onions, and we'll fry off our kimchi at this stage too. Now we'll give that a toss. And already, just by adding that kimchi, you can smell the chilli and the cabbage. It smells delicious. You know this is going to be a great little stir fry. Now once we get a little bit of heat into this, the ginger wilts down a little bit, we can add our chicken. So the chicken breast pops straight in there. And just make sure that when you're stir frying, the pan's really, really hot because you don't want it to stew. We want it just to caramelise really quickly. Again, giving it a really good toss. And I'm going to cook that for about one minute till it's completely changed colour, goes white. Then it's time to add our rice. Now, I'm using brown rice. I love the nuttiness of it. And like I said before, it's a little bit of leftover rice. When it dries up a little bit in the fridge, you can see how separate the grains are. And that makes a more delicious rice because all of that flavour is going to coat the rice. If you use rice that's been cooked straight away, it's still a little bit glutinous, so it's not going to have the same effect. OK, let's just have a quick check of this chicken. You can see it's firmed up, changed colour. Because I cut it so thin, it cooks in moments. And we'll toss in our rice. And you can see it's not much rice at all, about 250 grams. It's going to feed at least two people. You can see that there's still a little bit of sauce in the kimchi here. I want to use that. So just add some of those juices. 
and now you'll see the rice starting to fry. It'll start to caramelise and I love how it's all coating that. Oh, it smells so good. Now, once you start to hear that sizzle and it starts to get a little bit crunchy on the base, then it's time to add our sauce. Soy sauce and honey. And then again, tossing that, making sure that everything is coated. All right, while that's finishing off, we'll just finely chop these spring onions. And because it's a garnish, I don't want it to be too powerful in flavour, so finely chopping the spring onions is what we're looking for. Now I'll get my bowl ready. And then we can start plating this up into the centre. Turn the heat off. And then a little garnish of our spring onions over the top. The simplest fried rice you'll ever make using that fantastic combination of kimchi, soy sauce and honey. Go all out if you like, depending on what you've got in the fridge. You can add prawns to it, many different vegetables. As long as you remember the basics, kimchi, honey, soy sauce, you're onto a winner with this stir fry.